Welcome to the stream. I'm Sancho9000, and I'm here with my man Gribby. We are back with another deck analysis and playthrough, and today we're playing through uh, Light Bomb Priest. So let's jump right in and take a look at the deck list. Okay, so um, okay, so just to explain the the general idea of behind this deck, um, just the way you win is just by um, out ad, out valuing your your opponent. So you're just gonna put stuff stuff on the board, get good trades, and uh, the the longer the the game goes, and the more you're gonna get value out of your cards because they are very efficient cards. And um, the goal is just to, to go through the game, and at a point you're going to get more cards than your opponent. Your, your opponent is going to be dry. He's not going to be able of pulling out crazy combos, and um, you're going to win the game like that. Uh, we should go over the cards right away, because each of the cards, when we're going to explain the card, we're going to explain the purpose and uh, why it's helping this strategy. Okay. Let's start. So uh, the first card is a Power of Shield. Uh, it's just a very good card, uh, very efficient. Just one mana. You put extra health on your minions uh, to protect them, especially the the early game ones, to to get good trades and and make your minions survive. Plus you cycle through your deck because you're drawing a card right away. So it's very efficient. Uh, the second one is North Shire Cleric. It's one of the very early game minions. Um, the goal is to make it survive through multiple turns, uh, to heal your stuff, to draw cards out of it. If you can draw two cards and up uh, out of it, it's good value for you. Um, and a good combination is to drop a North Shire Cleric and uh, Power Shield it, just to make sure that it's not going to die from the, the first spell out or the first minion. Um, then we have Double Chow. Uh, again, it's to, it's to control the board very early game, uh, be efficient against aggro, make mage, face hunter. Um, yeah, just to, to install some even very weak win minions, but very efficient minions right from the, the start. So it's one of the minions you want to see in your hand at first. After that, we have one Goblin Stalker. So, it's a very unusual card in Constructed. Uh, you see it in Arena most of the time, but uh, in Constructed very, very, very rarely, actually. Pretty much in, that's pretty much the only deck that includes a uh, Gilbin Stalker. Mm -hmm. um, the goal of this card is, is to, to have a good follow-up to this one mana drop, like the North Shire Cleric and Zombie Chow. It's to ensure we're going to get it to drop, maybe. Uh, it's stealth, so... Its main purpose to be stealth is that you drop it on turn two, it's stealth, it's not gonna die. It's likely not gonna die from an AoE or something at this point because it's just turn two. Mm. Um, and it's to ensure you have something on the board on turn three to to drop a Valence Chosen on it. Yeah. It's it, it's one of the best targets for a Valence Chosen because you're gonna be sure to, to have it on the board next turn. Absolutely. I've also seen Dark, if you don't have Valence Chosen, in your hand, which is obviously the ideal drop there, but Dark Cultist as well uh, could work because you could keep the Gilb Gilbin Stalker in stealth uh, oh, trade uh, off your Dark Cultist, which would buff the, the Stalker as well. There's, there's a couple of different ways to play it, but Valence Chosen definitely the ideal play. Definitely. So, for example, all these cards, like the Valence Chosen, um, the fact it can combine with Gilblin. Uh, it can be combined with Nashire Cleric or Zombie Chow mm -hmm. and the Power Shield. All that means that you're going to have maybe weak minion in terms, in terms of attack. Mm -hmm. But in terms of health, these minions are going to be pretty, pretty resilient. Meaning that it's a good combination with Nashire Cleric because these minions are going to trade and trade again and be healed again and again and again. Mm -hmm. So that that's maybe... These are the... The, the core cards for the, the early game. Mm -hmm. And these cards are going to bring you the, the, the mid game and late game cards after that, just to, to draw faster and go through your deck. Um, after that, we have one Shrink Meister. The goal of the Shrink Meister is just, uh, again, to create value, 
Uh, it's a good two drop on its own, even without the battle cry. It's just some kind of blood fan rat uh, or or knife juggler without uh, the ability. It's just a three two. It's decent for trade. Uh, but if you can use it in combination with the battle cry um, and have minion on board before that, let's say you drop zombie chair on turn one, shrink master on turn two, you reduce the attack of the opponent and you attack with the chow. Your chow is safer after that. Uh, it's at full health, mm -hmm. so it's going to be annoying again on the next turn. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice thing to have. Uh, after that, we have double Shadow World Death. Uh, it's more for the mid, mid to late game to kill the yeah. big minions like, let's say, Lothar, uh, Thoris, and or even bigger like a Doom, uh, Doctor Boom, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, very effective also against, I would imagine, Handlock as well. Oh yeah, the definitely. Giants. The giants and all that, like yeah. all, all these big minions are just just too big in terms of health, mm -hmm. and in terms of attack too. But in terms of health, so we cannot trade with the weak minions we have early game. You know. Yeah, and this card is arguably on par with Big Game Hunter. You don't get a body on the board, uh, but you're not limited to uh, seven or above as Big exactly. game, game Hunter is. Yeah, it's more flexible. Yeah. I think. Uh, after that, we have double thought. Still, the the goal again is to create value and card value, card advantage. So the goal of Thought Steal is just to, you know, add more cards in your hand and uh, we have in this deck, with this deck and with the early game where you drop very, very cheap minions, mm -hmm. at a point you're gonna you're gonna feel like uh, on turn four five, you're gonna be able to play weak minions and you're gonna be left out with a few mana and that's where you play the Thought Steal for free. Yeah. Just when you when you don't need to drop too many things on the board, but you feel like it's going to be a waste if we don't use the mana. Thought steel is that's the perfect turn when you feel like you're going to waste mana. It's the perfect turn to play thought steel. Yeah. You don't play it actively. You play it more when you feel like you're going to lose something if you're going to lose three mana for for nothing. So that's the right play at, at this point. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll mention too that uh, thought steel is great for adding. Uh, that unpredictable variance to your play uh, yeah. to potentially throw off your opponent because your opponent with most you know playing against most classes is planning around everything you could possibly have and with the thought steal it makes it a little trickier because you might steal their belcher their Ragnaros you might steal their I don't know their backstab or eviscerate you know so it makes it a little bit harder to play around priest oh yeah and sometimes it can be insane sometimes it's just a it's almost game winning. Uh, it's, it can be a game winning thought still. Yeah. Last time we played, uh, it was last weekend, we yeah. played uh, a control warrior, our control warrior against uh, a priest, and we realized that this priest played at a point a Belcher and, uh, yeah. and, and a Gromash, yeah. and both of these cards were coming from the thought still. Yeah. So, so we ended up playing well, three Belchers because thanks to one from us, which is crazy. Ex exactly. All right. So after that, we have double villain chosen. We talked about it already, but um, so nice to reinforce your early game minions. Just dropping a villain chosen, for example, on Norsha cleric, and you get a, a three, three seven. So it's very decent if you can make your Norsha cleric, for example, more resilient. Uh, again, um, it's going to be good because you're going to be able to heal it again, and with in combination with the cleric ability, you drawing more, you go through your deck. It's that's that's the that's the point of the deck. So that's like the villain chosen is very important. Plus, there is this nice advantage of uh, the plus one spell damage, and it's uh, it's it's actually very important because um, we have the holy nova, and and holy nova for three, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's actually dealing three damage to the to the opponent's board. And it's gonna heal it, heal you for for two, not for three though. It doesn't affect the the healing, but the attack. Yeah. So it's a nice little boost. Yeah. Uh, and one small note on the side. For for example, if you play a light bomb, uh, the light bomb is gonna actually like so. So the goal of the light bomb is just to deal the same amount. Like it deals the attack of a, it, it deals the damage it deals is the attack of a minion. For each minion, yeah. So, and uh, if you have a um, if you have a villain chosen on the board, uh, then it means that it's gonna deal the attack plus one. 
So it can be can be useful sometimes. It's a little tricky because people don't think about it, but yeah. yeah. So after that we have one dark cultist. Uh, maybe First. one of the one of the best three drops of yeah. priests. Very um, standard to see in a priest deck. In most priest decks you'll see the dark cultist. Yeah, so we have we just have one. Uh, because we needed more slots, for example, for the other three drops that are coming right after that. Mm -hmm. um, but if we had the opportunity, we could try to put a second one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's a good choice. Uh, again, it's it dies. It's gonna add three health to one of the other early game minions. So again, like boosting the health, making your board more re resilient. Um, after that, we have two death lord. Mm -hmm. Again, Death Lord is just to, to to force the game to slow down, just to give you more time to draw into the the, the mid game or late game cards. Um, and something that can be done is uh, dropping a, de a Death Lord and boosting it, uh, buffing it with a Power Watch Shield or with a Villain's Chosen. And most of the time it's going to bait uh, a silence out which is mm, which is okay because it's going to get rid of the buff buff of the death lord but it's it's also going to be get going to get rid of the the death rattle so yeah. you're going to you're going to get rid of the downside of the of the death rattle so it's it's a good trade in a way yeah, you, buff you still it, have a 2 8 sitting on the yeah, table still. good for yeah. trading exactly so after that uh, one shadow Shadow Madness is one maybe one of the the craziest card in ter in terms of value if you can play it on on the right board. Yeah, it it can be insane. Like mm -hmm. the you steal one minion. Let's say you can steal maybe a haunted Thraddle, so that when the minion minion dies, it's gonna spawn maybe f from a belcher. You get the slime mm -hmm. of. the opens board then you you got rid of two of his creatures and you created value on your side of the ball so uh, it's a pretty pretty good card uh, especially maybe in the face hunter matchup all these aggros mm -hmm. I would say um, double parity trader yeah uh, awesome minion very sticky uh, yeah very sticky a good four drop maybe one of the best four drop in the game yeah it used to be the yetis in the past but now Everybody's like playing the the, shred, the pilot shredder instead of a yeti, so it's better. Yeah. Uh, double holy nova. Uh, Great. Good value clear. again. Both clear. Mm -hmm. um, healing on your side. So if you have a no share cleric on your side, it's it can be crazy. You can draw maybe two, three, four cards. Um, that's just a good card. Uh, it it helps also one of your when when we say both clear. Okay, it might be a bit too much to say board clear because it's just two damages to the opponent's board mm -hmm. but in combination with the zombie char or gear bean stalker or something then you can deal two plus the two of the area of effect so it, it can be a board clear if you trade smartly uh, with that so we'll evaluate that during the game and think about it awesome. um, after that we have one empty gear bot uh, I think the goal again is just to we are priests so we can already heal ourselves up but it sometimes it's not enough versus a face hunter. If your early game was not was so so, you need this extra boost uh, to 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 get out of range, yeah. out of uh, out of kill range. So it feels like this deck has some pretty good answers to um, to an, to a face hunter deck. I mean, face hunter is always tricky to play, but you know you got zombie child, you got anti kill bot, you got holy nova, you've got death lords, you know couple of things that cause face hunters potentially uh, some difficulty. Yeah. No. Oh, well, I think the only time I lost to uh, to face hunter was when I started the. Uh, I started with a very, very, very bad hand with a uh, with four, <laughs> four, five, and six drops or more. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way you can lose because if if you get at least a one and a two drop, I think you're good. You're yeah. Good. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So after that, one sludge belcher. It's kind of a. It's kind of the same purpose as the NTK bot. It's just to slow down the game, give you more turn to to react, um, stopping the threat. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, 
after that we have double light bomb and that's why it's called the light bomb priest um, well it's just a very very efficient board clear for, like it, it can be one of the best answer for example for um, for a doctor boom if the board is clear and your opponent spawn a, a doctor boom mm -hmm. you can play light, light bomb the turn after that okay you're gonna take the the boom boss damage mm -hmm. but well you still have you see, play a light bomb. You get rid of everything. Uh, it can be the, the answer sometimes when you don't have a shadow of death in hand. So, but that's one of these cards where you can create an, an insane amount of value when you play it at the right time. So, yeah. Cool. Um, Cabal Shadow Priest again. Um, great value. It's a. It's kind of a yeti with the crazy ability of stealing. Something on the the open side. Yeah. Uh, if you can even even steal any two any two drop uh, would be great. Um, yeah. You can also yeah. combine it with Trinkmeister. I've seen that you combo use them a fair bit. Oh, yeah. Completely forgot about that because I think during the last games uh, I didn't I didn't face this situation. But yeah. uh, you're right. Like just doing a Trinkmeister and a Cabal Shadow Priest. That you could steal a Shredder <laughs> doing that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Definitely. Um, and Sylvanas after that. Uh, again, to control the board, to make, to, to, to force your opponent to, to, to misplay in a way, mm -hmm. uh, to slow down, to think about, like, most of the time just to, to, to stall the game and it's going to be like, okay, I'm going to have to trade most of my minions in Sylvanas, mm -hmm. kill it beforehand. But that's, that's, that that creates some very awkward situations. So on the right board, Sylvanas can be uh, can be crazy. You can also Sylvanas win runner and Shadow what Death you on Sylvanas. Yeah. Uh, I think I did that against uh, a Paladin to steal a uh, Tyrion. Oh yeah, I think he sent me a screenshot. It looked amazing. Yeah, it just locked the board. The, the, I was I just had very very cheap minions on the board, but I already flooded the board with a Gilblin, Norsher, yeah. Cleric, and all that. And at a point, he dropped a Tyrion, and all my weak minions, if I didn't have the, the Sylvanas Shadow of Death or a Mind Control or something, uh, I had to, I would have to, uh, to to trade all my minions in Tyrion. Yeah. So that was the best answer. I was just on turn 9, so even if I had Mind Control, I couldn't play Mind Control. Yeah. So Sylvanas, Shadow of Death, Great you get the big minion and, and you're good. But uh, it asks you to, to control the board because again it's Sylvanas, so you don't know which minion you're gonna you're gonna get. Yeah. And so you have to be smart trading with the right ones just to to leave the one you want on the board. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And mind control, uh, yeah, just a Sylvanas where but you target the minion right away. Yeah. You spend your whole turn doing that, so you have to be very smart. But can be devastating. But it can be devastating. Yeah, right? huge swing if you can play it right. It's kind of like a Kel'Thuzad, you know, where timing is is so critical. Yeah. Um, and, but you know, if you are able to pull it off, man, it flips the game in your favor so big time. Definitely, you can you can steal the the last taunt maybe um, when the taunt is in your way just to get lethal. You can get one big minion like Tyrion. You can. It's a great card because it it packs it packs almost two cards in one. Okay, it's ten mana, but the thing is, you by mind controlling you one you get rid of the opponent's minion. Yeah. Plus you get it for yourself, so it's as if you played a removal plus summon the the minion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So again, it's the, the goal is just to pack a lot of value in one card. Uh, that's what Cabal do. Um, and um, and that's what mind control does too. Uh, same for Sylvanas and all that. So awesome. yeah, that that's that's the goal of the deck. Very early game. Uh, I think the Mulligan. So if we want to talk about the Mulligan, yeah. the best cards you can get maybe are hmm, Power Shield, uh, Nosher Cleric, Zombie yeah. Chow, Gilblin, maybe Shrink Meister, depending on if mm -hmm. you, whether or not you. You already have a one or two drop. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep a shadow of death. No. I wouldn't. I don't think I would keep a thought still, depending on what you have in hand. Yeah. Uh, I would keep a villain chosen, depending on whether you have the coin or 
if you already have the one and two drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything like Dark Ultis, Death, Death Lord also is good. Yeah, uh, Death Lord would be great against the uh, aggro deck, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, after that, the four drops and everything, I think I think I would consider keeping the Shadow Madness if I have the coin against an aggro. Mm -hmm. uh, but past that, it's too... It's too heavy, and the goal is to reach these heavy cards with the the, the card draw. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, and then, what would you say are some of the tech slots? What are the things that you would you 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 would switch up if you could? Um, anti so anti kill I, bot sludge belcher. I would keep the sludge belcher, whatever happens. I mm -hmm. think. Um, okay. I I think I would. We we could think about the the anti kill bot and get rid of it, maybe. Mm -hmm. Think about getting rid of it and putting a uh, one of these tech cards we were talking about in the last streams to uh, maybe a uh, Kazan, uh, yeah, maybe like, well maybe even a Black Knight if uh, if a Druid was if Druid was flooding the the ladder yeah. or um, what were the other techs we could use maybe a uh, Harrison Jones Harrison uh, Jones mind control tech can be good for that's. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Keeping control of the board. I've seen people run two shrink meisters as well, um, because again, with combined with cabal, uh, you know, because you've got two cabals, it could be devastating to the opponent. Suddenly, you're stealing four drop or four four attack drops. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. Which is mm. a, uh, which can be great for swinging the game in your favor. I've also seen re recombobulator used a lot too. So, for example. You could Shadow Madness, a Sludge Belcher, attack with it, and then when you recombobulate it, whatever it turns into actually stays on your board. Yeah, definitely. So I've uh, seen that as well. That's something we could try maybe. Uh, but by replacing, I wouldn't replace the TNT kill bot for that. Yeah. Uh, because we need some kind of yeah, yeah. heavy, uh, heavy uh, minions because. With a with a recombobulator, it's already a two two drop. So I would I, I would rearrange the deck. Maybe get rid of a, a zombie char. If if yeah. aggro, if there's less aggro yeah, out, yeah, yeah. maybe I would get rid of a zombie char. Put Absolutely, a, that makes something a lot like of that. sense. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so I think we can start. Yeah. That's great. All right, let's jump in and play yep. our play our first match here. Okay. All right, so we've actually got a pretty good uh, start in hand. Uh, yeah. Are we playing Warrior? Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. So it's either a Control or... Probably or Grim Patron, it would be Grim, my guess. <laughs> Grim Patron, yeah, yeah, it might be. I'm not um, sure how he would deal with, but... Yeah. So get rid of Sludge Belt or keep the other two? Yep, yeah. okay. that's a good start. Let's do it. We want to draw as much, much as possible. Likely the Warrior will try to do the same. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow, double cabal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, North Star Cleric? Uh, nope. Nope, we're gonna wait. Yeah, because, okay, so in this kind of situation, he has the coin. So if yeah. he has a fiery war axe, yeah. he's gonna get rid of the North Star Cleric right away, and we don't want to give him that. Good point. It's a good point. And there's the Armor Smith. Okay. okay. I don't think we're too worried about that right now. No, but now we can play Northshire plus Power Shield. Yeah. Because it's going to be at 5, and it's out of range of, I think, anything. Well, he could execute it, but that would be... That would be kind of crazy. A waste, yeah. yeah. And he's used his coin already, which is good. Yeah. He just came out pretty aggressive. The great thing is that he has a, he has a armor smith, so we could attack just to damage the, the cleric and heal up after that. But the the Dark Artist is maybe the best three the th the best turn three we have right yeah. now. Yeah. Getting some board presence will be good to fighting off whatever he, he throws at us. Yeah. Yeah I think it's better. Yeah, because the dark by itself can't do a whole lot for board control. Yeah. I think he's very annoyed by the the cleric right now. <laughs> Extremely annoyed. I don't think he has an answer. No. 
he's gonna execute it. Execute. He's gonna execute that. Wow. Oh, that's perfect. That's pretty good. Very aggressive. But that's well, yeah. that is perfect for us. I think that's really good. Dark cultist, yeah. and if yeah. he tries to hit it for some reason with the armor smith, it, the armor smith dies. Yep. Yeah, so we we just don't go face. The the goal is just to outvalue, gain card advantage, and we are doing that by trading and get the good trades. And that's a good trade, for example, Dark Cultist in the Armor Smith. So that's what that's what we are aiming at. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 I guess it's kind of smart of him, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, he doesn't want that buffing anything. That's For usually sure. what I do when I see those. I try to kill them while they're on their own. No, the problem is that we don't have anything. That's yeah, too, where, too where are all our drops? Yeah. I'm going to heal well, and pass. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure. Yeah, that should get me but to that... 32, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Bug. the problem is that the double cabal that's, that was... Yeah, a bit too hurts. much after that, the, the follow-up, like a Shadow of Death, mm -hmm. All in Over, Light Bomb, come on. That's, yeah. It's a bit too bad. Within yeah. five cards after that, we are not able to draw one or two drop. Right. Uh, or three, even. Come yeah. on, a Pilot Trailer or something? Come on, we uh, don't have a board. Oh, well, we pass again. Yeah. Fortunately, we have answer to big drops. We can steal mm. with Cabal Shadow Priest for little drops. The only thing is if he brings out Grim Patron. Okay. Interesting. It's not good for us, but... Hmm. Uh, not yet, no. Not yet, no. Wow, we really don't have anything to, to play here. That's unbelievable. Do we drop for Tempo? Do we drop a Cabal? I mean, he can kill it, but he's going to ram his Sludge Belcher into it. And his face. And we've got two of them. Face and sludge. Uh, thing is, if he does that, his sludge is uh, is damaged for four. Yeah. So if he drops any other drops, any other minions going to spawn, we can shadow yeah. of death after that. Uh, shadow of madness. madness. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so I, good. We don't I would try Kaba. Yeah, yeah, you, you're right. And we have two. We have two, so yeah, not too sad about that. Let's try. Let's try. Plus, we have Holy Nova, so. Depending on what he does, we can finish up the yeah. The bell chart. We want to get value though, so we'll see. Yeah. The only thing is, if he do, if he is Grim Patron, we have to get Valens chosen out before we have Holy Nova. Otherwise, we just do him a favor. True. But he's gonna trade here. Yeah. He's not gonna leave the sh the, the cabal alone. Yeah. Like that. Obviously, not an optimal way to play the cabal. No. But we don't want to lose tempo. Too much tempo here. Okay. Play a minion, please. Nope. That's okay. Nope. Okay. That's okay. Oh my god. Uh, Let's thought steal. It's, I think it's thought steal turn, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Although shield slam is pointless. But I, uh, I wait, think wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think we. The problem is that we missed a lot of draws during the the beginning because he executed the the, the cleric and yeah. uh, giving him like feeding him the, the acolyte like that. I think it's a waste. We should acolyte next turn with Valens chosen, yeah. but just to make sure. Let's think about it though. We wouldn't have enough mana to do shadow madness and do that, right? So, and Eight likely seven. shadow madness would be next. I'm gonna guess he's gonna drop something. Uh, yeah, but again, if we want to Shadow Madness, the goal is just to steal the slime and and yeah. and use the Belch for that. So if we pass. drop the Acolyte, we give the opportunity to kill the, the, the Acolyte. I think I pass on this one. Okay. Yeah. But that's not the end of the world because we can still steal the Sludge with the Cabal. Uh, the slime, you mean? The slime, yeah. Well, up to you. I, I don't know. It, yeah, pass. the two plays are... Decent, I guess. Because yeah. I really doubt we'll be acolyting and, and balance chosen. It just I would seems love... really slim. Yeah, sure. I, I would love if uh, the def if he drops a, 
an acolyte, for example, would be great. Yeah, we could um, Shadow Madness Valence Chosen, which would be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. If if we can, if he drops a minion, he has to drop a minion. There's no way he won't. Oh, you mean? Oh, Doctor Boom. Okay. Well, we have the answer for that. Good. We can also. Can we? Okay, but what's the best answer for that? Uh, maybe a simple light bomb or. Actually, or a that's simple... a good idea. Light bomb is probably good. I Better than a shadow. Yes. Uh, yeah, because the Holy Nova is just king that that would, yeah, it's just one card. One card for everything. Yeah. So let's do that. I like it. Should we should we draw yeah. Yeah, well, that's just that to do. So that's good, that's good. Yeah, let's go for that and heal ourselves after that. Yeah, I think that's great because we need to sh save Shadow Word Death. He's undoubtedly Did got other big threats. Oh double four. <laughs> Dude. What are the chances? That's okay. What? <laughs> Oh, double four. <laughs> oh, man. I guess that's why we have the anti kill bot. Oh, double four. So disappointed. <laughs> well, that, that was great value for Light Bomb, though. That was great. Yeah, and we still saved Shadow or Death, which is awesome. We can Cabal the Slime. Oh, Cabal. Oh. Oh, let's take that. Yep, we will. Very well. We cabal this thing. He's gonna be happy. Oh great! And he's gonna use his. <laughs> he's gonna use his death spite for us. The only thing that comes to mind right now is uh, he's got a really strong Grim Patron combo next turn. But I think he doesn't play Grim Patron. Like okay. this guy is a control. Okay. So, uh, this guy is control for sure. Okay, so I'm taking the acolyte then. Definitely. We want to cut the draws for from him. And yeah. we are already at card advantage. We have what? We have we are playing this card and we have we have nine we have nine cards in hand. Yeah. He has five and we we steal this this thing, so that's awesome. Uh, what should we do with that? Should we play the other Acolyte okay. as we, well? We have we have two ways to deal with that. We can Oh, As you balance. said, we could play the acolyte, the other acolyte, just to make the death rattle that by terrible. Yeah. Or we could villain chosen the mm, the acolyte or the or protect the the, the cabal. The path no. Ah, that's nutty, man. I want to try double acolyte. Let's do it. That's what it's the screen's about. Yeah, let's try that. It makes it's it better. more awkward for him because he a oh, very awkward. He's probably forced to deal to get rid of one of the acolytes instead of going yeah. for the cabal. Oh, he's exactly. Going for it wow, he's gonna do that. That's great for us. Yeah, he's not gonna meet them. Uh, meet us, I think. Nine. We're gonna draw. We're gonna do. Oh, why he's meeting us? Oh, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're gonna lose cards, that's fine. We have the biggest one. We have Sylvanas yeah. and we have main control, so I think that's the best answer. Yeah. But we have to be smart uh -oh. <laughs> uh, playing the cards. That's Lost good. Deal. That's okay, we can lose that. Okay. okay. Uh, so. Sludge, ouch. Okay. We lost the sludge. Okay. That's okay. Um, okay, let's see. He has four cards, so he's meeting us, but he has four cards. Yeah. I don't think he's in a good shape right now. No. Uh, we need to be very efficient with this turn. Yeah. He has five armor, so he can shield slam something. Yeah. Um, so let's see. We could go... So I think the Death Lord is going to be one of the drops. Yeah. For okay. sure. Yeah, so we, could, we have Shadow Word Death if he pulls out anything crazy. So um, we have Sh we have Shadow of Death and we have Shrink Meister, so we have yeah. to think about that because we can do something crazy with that. Yeah. Do we balance um, chosen the, the Death Lord? I think I would. Yeah, but what else do we play then? We've got nothing else after that. But what does it matter really, I guess? Yeah, let's balance chosen. Mm, yeah, let's do that. He's forced to silence. 
Yeah. Yeah, do that and uh, heal ourselves. Heal, and then should I draw? Or should I hit face? Uh, you, know, you hit face. You hit yeah. face. Let's do it. Okay. You don't want to overdraw. We are we're in a good situation. He has five cards. I think we're good. Yeah. If he uh, doesn't have a silence, uh -huh. even even with a shield slam, what can he can deal with the death lord with a shield slam? But he has to trade everything. So. Yeah, that's a lot of cards for it. Oh. Okay. He said, oh, well, no downside. No downside. And against the control against the control warrior, I I like that because he has big minions in the deck. So. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now he can't silence Sylvanas. Potentially. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you're right, that's a good point. He got rid of the silence and uh, Sylvanas may, may, might have been one of the best targets, especially if he drops a big minion. Yeah. He We're also in high control a... territory as well. If he drops something big, we can always just steal it. Exactly. Oh, wow. Exactly. He's so, burning oh, out his, his... That's Man, that's great. Three cards. He has a, he's at three cards right now. That's yeah. pretty awesome. I'm glad. He spent so many cards on the wow, Death Road. Wow, look at this. That's really good for us. Yeah. Okay, wow. Well, see, he, he had pretty much no answer to the first Death Road, and we're going to be able to drop a second one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, let's, okay, let's, let's, keep, let's keep in mind that he's going to trade everything in because he knows that with the Death Rattle of his Death Bite, yeah. the two minions are going to die. Yeah. So so he's gonna get rid of the death lord and about, be able to to get a minion out of his deck. So what about Death Lord Holy Nova? Oh, that that would put him in such a bad situation, yeah. That that's either that or Death Lord Sylvanas. Mm -hmm. And with Sylvanas being ready to to get to catch the big minion that's gonna be uh, out, out that's gonna come out of the, the death yeah. lord. Okay. So it's either that, but I like your I really like your Holy Nova play because Holy Nova doesn't have a lot of targets and that might be the best board we can ever get against yeah. the Control Warrior for Holy Nova. So let's try the Holy Nova first. Yeah. We have so many answers for whatever comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And, and we, we also get we're out heading of range. back up, so that's I really like that we go yeah. back up to uh, to twenty two. Uh, yeah. that's, that's great. great. And yeah, we he have... used what? He used one shield slam, one execute, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's using a lot of removals on this on yeah, our yeah. stuff, which is crazy. I mean, he executed a Northshire cleric, which is kind of crazy. And okay, another good. Execute, right? I we really have a mind, con a menu. mind control. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's great. Well, wow. So I think we just go tempo play here. Piloted Shredder, maybe, into Heal yeah. Pot. What can he do? He's going to be able to trade for the Piloted Shredder completely, maybe, with his weapon, but that's fine, too. Yeah, uh, because we still have... Well, yeah. Sylvanas is a bad play here. It is. Uh, Anti-Kill Bot doesn't do anything. Well, what if we did Piloted Shredder, Anti-Kill Bot? Then we're up to 30. And we've got two bodies. He can't. It'll be harder for him to remove two. I well, think that's. Technically I think that's good. You're 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 right. Let's do these two. I think we're. Thing is, thing is, now we have a lot of answers, mm -hmm. but not some like the two minions we drop right now are more are the only thing that we can drop that yeah. are not answers and not reactive play to what he does. Yeah. The, the, all true. the rest, like the Shadow Madness, Shadow of Death. Mind Control, Shrinkmeister, Sylvanas, all, you know, all that is just answers. Yeah. So, we'll see. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. Well, the Shadow... Okay. Um. I want to... I want to... What should we do here? Um, we could Shadow... This is kind of crazy, but we could Shadow Madness and kill the Mind Control tech into Shield Maiden, and then Holy Nova, that would kill the Shield Maiden. Uh, and then hit face. We won't get better value out of the Holy Nova, so yeah. that might be the best. I mean, another one is, is Shrinkmeister, the Shield Maiden, and Shadow Madness, the Shield Maiden, but that won't do anything because it'll just give the Shield Maiden back and we, it would have been a real inefficient play for us. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So let's... 
Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, okay, this this one? Shadow Madness, Mind Control Tech, run it into okay. Shield Maiden. Holding up. Okay, holding okay. Over. That's good. Yeah, let's then do we this. Keep the shredder. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I like it. And we heal at the same time. Boom, face, and that's it. We don't drop the chow. No. no. I mean, we could have. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, it, it, would, it wouldn't be too late. He's at 26. Yeah, sorry. We yeah. should have. We should have. That's okay. <laughs> There's our recombobulator. Ooh, oh, my control. My goodness. My control. We have to. Uh, We've got so much tempo here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's the best. Because we Kay. we can that gives us two Sylvanases. Yeah, you're right. It's too crazy. Too fast. So right. we still have a lot of answers. I mean we have yeah. two we have, oh, I mean too crazy. He's gonna have to yeah. remove that. You're right. And we still have a Sylvanas Shadow of Death combination if we want to steal a crazy Gromash or something that just get out of control. So yeah. we, we still have this kind of mind control in a way. He's okay, execute. Exec it. execute. That's and fine. we're gonna steal his. Uh... Oh. What? Oh. Well, if Sivana dies, we get we... a two-two. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh, we get the two-two. Yeah. Great. Why? Why? Why would you? Why would you do that? I guess. Okay. 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 Well, instead of having seven or eight damage to the face, he's getting two now. So. He's bad. he's completely out of steam. That's. Yeah. So do we yes, go Sylvanas here? Uh. Make him deal with it again. He used two execute and a shield slam. He's out of steam. Or should we hang on to it and just see what he plays? That what the, the thing that would be sad is if we drop Sylvanas, he's able to deal with it yeah. on next turn. The only thing but, is we got six cards, so we have to we have to close him out pretty soon. Yeah, he's, so I, he's at ten cards. That's true. So we should go with Sylvanas. Let's be aggressive. I don't know. I can't remember what else we have. Shall I drop uh, the cleric as well? We could at this point. Yeah, we could. Uh, let's do this and Heal up. do we go? Yeah. Okay. We don't want. To, we need to be aggressive. With six cards left, we can't afford to give him any health. I think at this time. Sure. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That's okay. Okay. We don't uh, want the acolyte, so we don't no, want to no, no, steal it. No, 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 no. Okay, so shadow word death. Um. Oh, the the, the pilot trailer is awesome. Um, yeah. So we're gonna okay with ten mana we do four and three and. Uh, I think shadow word death is a no brainer. Yeah, that looks like it. Let's uh, do that. Then the question is, so the other thing I'm thinking is piloted Shredder, then heal the Northshire Cleric. Or no, let's kill the Northshire Cleric, maybe. Yeah, I would. Draw. I would. Let's kill the, the, the Acolyte with the, sh with the Cleric. Yeah. And do we heal Sylvanas? That's the big question. Oh, yeah, we Shredder for sure. Yeah. Uh, what do we have left? Three? Uh, yeah, we healed Sylvanas. We don't want a weapon to uh, to be able to uh, deal with her. Yeah, I'm a little She's... bit worried about what we have left in the deck here. Uh, that's, true, that's true. That's true. But we have nine on board. He has fifteen life. Okay. Oh, we can shrink mice to this thing. Go through. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we can. Light, uh, light, light bomb is bad here. Okay. Uh, shrink Meister and attack with Sylvanas. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which one do we uh, use? We healed the uh, shredder. I would say the Sylvanas because if he has a death bite, I think he uh, used both already. But yeah. Let's do he used both this bite? I'm pretty sure he did, but I could be wrong. Let's do that. It just yeah. forces him to use the Lothan to, yeah. to deal with that. Mm. 
we okay uh, okay we so have we another don't have anything to deal with that um, Okay, that's not too bad actually. I thought he was uh, going to go for the shredder. Okay. First, I would power shield this thing. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Then I would heal the shredder and light bomb. Yeah. Doesn't look really efficient, but that's the only way we have to. Uh, yeah. It's interesting, the zombie chows are. Pretty much dead cards right now. Yeah, yeah. We would they will, be well they will served wait. with with more aggression here. True, but I think we are pre we are out of steam too. I think. Wow, he's doing this too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. We are losing the fatigue war. Pretty badly. Uh, we got one. Man, this left. shadow of death. This shadow of death is way too late. Yeah. I think we have to go in with Zombie Chow. Yeah, because he, he might not have any removal left. He used two Shield yeah. Slam, two Execute. Uh, maybe he has other minions. Maybe he has a Shield Maiden, but well, so I'm if he has a Shield about, Maiden. I'm thinking about, but, oh yeah, he does have a Shield Maiden, doesn't he? But if he has, we have a Shadow of Death. So, oh yeah, okay. And that's the right time to, to, to put it off. So let's let's kill that. Gil Blind Double Chow. Kill that, uh, kill the double chow. The only thing is he'll have uh, Alex Straza in this deck as well. This double chow heal up. Yeah. Because we need to be at 30 as long as possible now. Yeah. We have what? One card left? Jesus. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Yeah, there's that. But Alex okay, Straza is coming though, so we have to be careful. That's true. But we still have to kill the Shimaiden. Oh, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that changes something or not? No, but I think we go. I don't yes. think it changes. Anything. I think it does. I think we Valen's chosen the Gilblin. I mean, this sounds crazy, but may maybe it's not the best move. But we shield slam the, or we not shield slam. We Valen's chosen the Gil Gilblin. Trade the Gilblin and a zombie chow killed to uh, deal with shield maiden. We ki we keep uh, shadow word death for Alex Straza. Okay, I have a question. Maybe it's completely silly what I'm going to say. Yeah. But the shield slam, it deals one damage for to a minion for each armor you have. Yeah. We have but if you don't have armor, but you have a spell damage on the board. Oh yeah, what does it do? Does it does it do plus one? I don't know. Maybe it's completely dumb. Uh, well, I would drop the villain's chosen on the goblin. Yeah, and then trade the. Yeah, let's trade. See if this if there is an interaction with the shield slam. No, there's not. Oh, okay, I'm trading. There's no interaction. Trading, trading, and uh, and heal, healing the gil gilblin. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. So he's no more executes. We gave him a little bit of health there, but if he brings Alex Straza out, we can immediately deal with that, which is so important. Yep. The only problem is is that we don't have a lot of uh, any trading power here. Um, we are gonna have to heal every turn now. Yeah. But I prefer to heal the Gilblin again. Okay. Shouldn't we? For yes. one damage. Agreed. I think it's better. But the next turn is gonna be just ourselves all yeah. all the way now. Yeah. And I don't like it. Yeah. He's got it's one gonna left. be tough. This is gonna be a really close one. Not sure we can make it. Especially oh, if we he drop drew himself Alex out. Okay. He's gonna play what? Alex Straza next turn. He has to. He has to. Uh, if he if he plays Alex Straza, it's going to be tough because fifth, we're going to be at fifth, reset at 15, which really sucks. Well, let's uh, heal ourselves here. Yes, for sure. Uh, well, well, yeah. Uh, yeah but maybe but that was a bit if, of a waste, yeah. No, no, that's fine because if there's an Alex Straza, we're going to be reset at 15, whatever happens. Yeah. So He's got to play it. He's, it yeah, yeah, he's forced to. He's forced to. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's his last card? Oh, my God. All right, let's kill that. Oh, this is going to be so close. Let's just hope he doesn't have a taunt. And he's not getting enough uh, fatigue. Uh, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. He just has one card. Well, and what yeah. can it be? He has to shield up. He can shield up, though. That's the only thing. 
Something very annoying would be a bad shot, but I think he used two, so that's fine. And we're I think we're a, good. We're taking a lot of fatigue here. It's going to be five next turn for us. Four, five. Oh, yeah. I that's true. I don't know if we're going to get this. We, I mean, we... Well, we'll, we'll go through, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We can deal six each turn. Yeah. He's going to take... Oh, he's, he's taking three, too. Yeah, I think we He'll take could. four next next turn. Four plus we deal six. Yeah. Well, we're good. I What's think we won. the last card? We won, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we won. So, heal ourselves. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. <laughs> this game, dude. Wow. <laughs> so we won, but that was uh, that was a little scary. So that was tough because we didn't draw as much as we should have in the early game. I think he did the right call um, uh, executing the, the cleric. Yeah. We got uh, pretty greedy with the acolyte. That might have also been... No minions after that. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's let's get back with the face on time. This uh, time we win. Okay, none of these are good. Trading all. Uh, yeah, we get rid of everything. And please, one and two drop. Okay. Two, it's, one drop. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's better. It'll help us trade and uh, draw. Yep. Please not face until with crazy curve, else we're done. Yeah, and no worgen infiltrator, please. We need uh, a leper gnome here. There we go. Yeah. Called it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Kill Thank that God and heal. you did that. Oh yeah, yeah. Kill that and heal. Uh, we we need to go through the deck because we are way too way too slow right now. Yeah. We need death lord. Come on. Two drop. Come on. Shadow madness. That's I'm not gonna not gonna complain here. No. It's fine. Do we thought steal next turn? Get some aggressive cards de in our hands. De depending on whether we are. Because he'll drop mad scientist. Oh no. That's all oh, he's we're got. Gonna, we're going to trade. So, well, he has a pretty slow start, I think. Yeah. I like to see an abusive like that. So, uh, well, what we're going to do here, mm -hmm. we trade. We drop the second North Shire and we draw two cards. Uh, by hitting the North Shire. Good call. Now, now we are efficient. Thought yeah. Steel is not going to bring enough. Yeah, that's a good point. And we might end up with something we don't need. Please, two drop. Come on, Dark Cultist. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. We're going to go through. We need a Death Lord or something like that just to stop the bleeding because yeah. what? it's going too fast. That's fine. What's he doing? What's oh, that? A piece of sergeant. Okay. He's making. Oh, wow, he's trading. Problem. Yeah. He's trading, that's awesome. Oh, I like yeah. that. Well, okay. Oh, oh Hunter's Mark. This is Hunter's uh, Mark. Yeah, it's an old it's an old card to have. He has Ooh. two cards in hand, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. So Dark Cultist and uh, Zombie Chow, I'm thinking. That's a trade with two minions next turn, because he's gonna have two minions on the table. Yeah, it's better. It's better than the uh, power shield, you know right? Well, we have so many answers on next turn. We have uh, on turn five. We have either Shadow Madness, Power Shield, yeah. or we have Healing, Thought Steel. Oh, he's so late. He's yeah. gonna trade again. I think he doesn't have the choice. No, he no, you don't. He has to start going face it's, at some point. He's too late, man. He has two cards. He's done. Yeah. All right. Um, Thought Steel is uh, Thought Steel is too slow, so we won't do that. Uh, well, well, do, do we have the choice? We we might thought still because the shadow madness doesn't do anything. Uh, we have to. I feel like we should get ahead power of the shield first. So we. Oh yeah, yeah. Should we power shield zombie chow? Uh, or dark cultist because we lose zombie chow if we. Okay, let's be very. Yeah, you're right. Power shield the zombie chow. Attack the sergeant with that. And now he might. Ram his glaive Zuka into the zombie chow, but that's just really good for us. That's good for us. <laughs> hey, Purcell, how's it going? <laughs> All right, hitting face with Dark Cultist and then yeah. heal, heal self. We should heal ourselves. I know the thought, the thought Steve is tempting, but we are 21. Okay, it's still high. Yeah. But he can burst so much that even healing ourselves now would make him think about conceding, I think. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's play very conservative. Okay. And, uh, good call. It's a tricky deck, Purcell. Priest isn't a, 
a class that I've played a lot, so I'm actually really enjoying learning this today because I feel like it's ex it's expanding my horizons. And it is a tricky deck. You you have to think about things a little differently. And I I personally hate to face that, so <laughs> <laughs> so I need to know my enemy. Too. Yeah. I feel like it is all about shutting down card draw when you're playing against priest. Yeah. See, there we go. He was tempted. We baited the the Glaivezuka. So oh, this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer. No this is attack, shredder, heal self. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's the best play, dude. Don't imp don't implosion a divine shield. What happened? Oh, it's snakes. Oh. This is snakes. Snakes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Or that's fine, right? It could be snipe. Nope, it's not snipe. Oh, we are in such good shape here. <laughs> yeah, he's done. He has two cards. Like, I think the turning point was when he, he played Unleash, Abusive, Hunter's Mark, just yeah. to get rid of the, the clerics. Yeah. It was so many resources spent just on one turn. Yeah. And just to clear the board, not even to attack our oh, face. What a waste of a quick shot, too. This guy does not oh. know how to play. Oh, my God. This is great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm going to attack. Just in case it's freezing trap, I'm going to attack with Armorsmith. Uh, yeah. Uh, or do we? Maybe it's the maybe it's more like we're gonna vent chosen this uh, this armor smith just to to be sure. But then we attack with the the dark cultist. We, we attack with the dark cultist first. Okay. I think. Should yeah, I, I know. It, should I vent and chosen first? I don't think it changes anything here. So you can do it after, I guess. Okay. Oh, before yeah, you're right. We don't care. <laughs> okay. Actually, we don't care at all. get some armor there. We could thought steal. I mean, we are so far ahead here. That's crazy. We Let's get more steal. armor. Uh, I would still... He's I would, I would still heal. I would heal the, the Dark Cultist, maybe. Okay. Just to make sure we have a sticky board and okay. it doesn't do anything with that. Okay. Don't need to get too greedy. But, but seriously, you could heal us. Heal ourselves was good too. Thought steal was good. I think everything was on par. I mean, he, he's we're, he's he's lost here. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's just to, we are just being ultra safe, just in case. But we are we're good here. Um, mm. we have to be well, careful here. We can't attack that. So he has a new. He played the new, new secret, or no? What was this that's again? a snake trap. So. Oh, that's the snake trap. Okay. Yeah. So, can we get rid of this thing without? Um, you know what? We should maybe thought steal first. Here's one crazy thing. Yeah, thought steal. Uh, but if not, run the dark cultist into knife juggler, and, and we are uh, gonna get so light much bomb? armor. Oh, and light bomb after that. Yeah. To get rid of everything. Yeah. Okay. Let's I think the. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's and do if that. he kills. Perfect. The Perfect. snake. If the snakes kill the uh, dark cultist, it's gonna. Then he busts we, the we're armor gonna smith. get such a big armor smith, man. Oh okay. my god! <laughs> what do we do next, though? Because we're running out of rope. Do I light bomb? It's gonna next? be the, it's light bomb for sure. Okay. And attack face. And heal self. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, all this, all this armor, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the shield slam now? That's insane. Oh my That's God. insane. He's so dead. Yeah, we have awesome. Sylvanas Shadow, Shadow Madness. We have, uh, sorry, Sylvanas Shadow of Death. We have Shadow Madness. We can cabal something. Yeah. We can heal. This still. Guy oh, is that's... so far behind. Yeah, you can concede now. That's fine. Yeah, we'll be okay with that. So that's good to know, Rornbeck. I actually didn't know what would happen if you implosion a divine shield. So it does zero damage and summons nothing. That's that's one of those things you find out the painful way usually. So it's good to know. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. He's like, what do I do? I think he closed. He must have closed the game. I should they uh, should just stop because we have so many cards. We have so many answers. Even even if this guy was by any mean playing a, a, a seven a high main, which yeah. is unlike unlikely, 
we could steal it right away with Sylvana Shadow World. Yeah. Death, so. Okay, so that was uh, Face Hunter versus Face Hunter. Okay. Oh my He's god. He's still going for it, huh? <laughs> Alright. Well. Anti kill. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. We needed the anti kill bot last time. Not this yeah. I, we shouldn't play it right now. Thought steal? I think we should double thought steal. Or even one thought steal and we'll see. Look at that. Play Zuko. I have to play it. Just for the sake of it? Yeah. Maybe we should. Okay, if we play Zuka, we have four left and yeah. we should maybe heal. heal ourselves. Yeah. And we should thought steal again. Oh no, we're going to overdraw. You're sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Glaive Zuka, heal ourselves, this and awesome. attack. We're a priest with a weapon. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you if you if you make if you you greet him right now, he's gonna concede. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's gonna concede. That's so Come on, you have to, man. Oh, I have to end turn. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> forgot. <laughs> so mean. Okay. I captured that. Let's. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> this is the best. I am gonna post that on Twitter right now. That is unbelievable. Come on, dude. Concede. There's nothing to do. I love that he's hanging on. The funny thing is, is that we're costing him so many wins. Yeah. Okay, I need time to, to. Yeah, that's good. Take the time on Twitter now. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> okay, let's go on the web. I have time. Ah, he's dropping, okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, dude. Alright. Oh, wow, he burst us pretty fast there, but... That's fine. Uh, the most efficient is just gonna be... Uh, Oh, power out shield uh, the armor smith. Yeah. Uh, trade. Trade in this thing. Anti kill bot and heal self. Yeah, anti kill bot, heal yourself. And. Attack face. Might as well. No, uh, uh, yeah, to you. That's, I don't. Okay. I mean, I he's got no healing. Face hunters don't have any healing, so just bashing yeah, him down isn't bad. Could do that. Could do that. I always. He's not gonna play uh, Naris and Jones or anything like that, so. <laughs> okay, that's it. At last. <laughs> that was awesome. With a bad curve. Yeah. So, any other things like grade 2, so so are, do, are doing pretty great with the. Uh, with the face on top. It's just you just need to avoid the, all the five drops. Look at this. Uh, we haven't played Rogue, I don't think, in on any of our streams, so this is gonna be interesting. So okay, the, the two rogues i I faced yesterday with this deck were me rogues. Uh -huh. They were meeting me like crazy with Cold Light oh, yeah. Gang Up and all that. Yeah. And I started drawing with my cleric uh, before I saw the the Cold Light yeah. Oracle. Yeah. And when I saw the meme I was like, oh shoot. I, yeah. I drew too, too many cards, and that was really hard. Uh, so we get rid of the Sludge Belcher for sure. Um, keep Death Lord, get rid of North Shark Cleric. I would still keep the Cleric, even not, even without drawing, but just to just to deal with just to put a, a, a one drop, I think. Okay, keep Death Lord. 
Yeah, yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah, I think so. You're right. I mean, if this is a mill drew, in, I mean, mill rogue, we're in uh, North Red Cleric becomes useless. The only thing that I'd say is a downside is that rogues usually, regardless, they start really slow. So getting a body on the table isn't really that necessary. You're right. So we are not going to play it right now because okay. we have the power shield. Yeah. Let's see what he does. And we don't have a turn two, so yeah. So cleric shield would be good. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not a mere rogue. So. Yeah. We'll see. But at this rank, we could expect that. Um, we have a turn three, so and it, sh it will likely be a third steel. So cleric and power shield just to go through the deck. Yeah, thought steel will be great because we need to see what kind of rogue he is. Yeah. And again, yeah, rogues, it's you can always. That's be sure that rogue starts slow. That's that you're totally right saying that the third seal is gonna help knowing what he is. You can get to rank thirteen, Wormbeck, don't give up. Yep. Can do we're it. we're struggling to get out of rank thirteen here. Alright, th thought steel. <laughs> uh, that's right. for sure thought steel, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, it is a mill. It's a mill. It is a mill. Oh, wow, big time. Yeah, big oh, time. Oh, wow. So now we can think about what we're going to gang up. Yeah. Because because we have a good gang up. Uh, hmm, we have a gang up in hand, so what? Hmm. Attack face and, and turn, and uh, we are going to think about that. Yeah. Um, Should we gang up a death lord? Because that will mill him. <laughs> that would mill him. Yeah. Plus, if we can get if if we can get his collide oracles out of his deck without the battle cry. Yeah, that actually would be it's, good. It's uh, it's actually it's actually bad for him. So okay. death lord zombie which, chow. I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, thing is, at a point, at a point, um, vanish. What's what's the name of the card? Vanish. vanish yeah. Right. He's in range of doing vanish if he has a prep now, but that's all he'll be able to do. Yeah. And that wouldn't put us in a bad position. So yes, you're right. We have to be careful about dumping our hands. But ganging up Death Lord, I think, is super smart. Yeah, the, the best target would be the anti kill bot, but a Death Lord is good, I think. Yeah. Because we have one on board, one in our hand. And if we gang up, we we gang that up. We are good. Okay. So next turn is turn five. Uh, what should we do? Well, gang up another Death Lord, in my opinion. Yeah, let's put the second Death Lord and gang up uh, one of the Death Lord yeah. and just face all face with all that. Looking good. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can beat you at your own game there, Rogue. We'll see, because now we have a we have card advantage. He's going to use some Collide Oracle uh, Shadow Step, so we might not keep the card advantage in the deck for too long, but we'll see. He's at 10 cards, so you have to play something now. Ah, uh, he's here. He's, that's okay. That's, that's okay, yeah. Let's kill that thing. We have to be careful. We might have to kill it with the with the zombie chow. Yeah. And the uh, cleric. Yeah. It's just just to get rid of the chow so it doesn't vanish back in the in the yeah, hand. Yeah, because we don't need that. That's right. You know? That's a good point. Okay. I think it's better than using the death lord. Yeah. So that's chow in three three, cleric in in three three. Yeah, and then face and heal self. Uh, or drop cabal. No. Just for the body? Yeah. yeah. The only we thing have is... Second, uh -huh. We have a second one for... We have a second Cabal for... To, okay. to Cabal, uh, let's say, an Oracle. Yeah. So let's Cabal just for the body. Okay. Because yeah. I was going to say, we definitely want to see if we can Cabal his Oracles. Yeah, I, or I think his the, death best, lords. I mean, the I, best thing to do is to... Against this deck is to get some kind of big body on the board and rush it as fast as we can. Yeah. We don't have that now, so a cabal could put a little more pressure. What's he gonna do here? Even if he Backstab. Okay. What? He's flurry. Gonna play flurry, that's okay. 
The flurry is not too bad. No, this is actually good. Kay. It gets rid of our, our cleric, which is actually really good. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay. All these all uh, resource for that, that's wow. fine. Ha! Oh, we wow, that's it. good. We have to that's kill it. That's, that's amazing. Is he going to shadow step it? No, he's going to gang up. No. That's ah! fine. That's fine. That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, he has to play that, so... That's okay. We have a lot of pressure right now, so... Uh, what's the best play? We have Venus chosen. That's interesting. Okay, so the Cabal doesn't do anything. We won't play that. The Light Bomb doesn't do anything. Yeah. Mind Control, we can play it. We have Gilblin, Venoms. I think um, we uh, Velen the Death Lord just to make it even harder for him to get to deal with. But he can. But he has so many things to uh, to deal with it. He has sap. Oh too. yeah. And the sap would be. Okay. Then Velen let's chosen. Let's Velen chosen the uh, the Cabal then. Well, the thing he doesn't want to sap right now mm -hmm. is the is the cleric. Yeah. So I would go Venance the cleric just so okay. the three ta the three targets are equally interesting for the sap. Yeah, that's a good Else, point. if you put too much value in one card, he's gonna obviously sap this one. Okay, that's a good point. It's a uh, it's a bit tricky, but I think it's the best. Uh, Gilblin and heal ourselves and hit because face. we don't and and uh, Death Lord in the oh sorry cleric in the. In the yeah, I know we lose one point of damage, but I think it's better. Okay, let's do it. Because the death lord is too annoying. Yeah. So. And heal self. And heal ourselves. Yeah, we we don't want to to draw with the cleric because yeah. because he's gonna make us draw. So. Yeah. <laughs> and he's at eighteen. He has an anti kill bot in hand, so we'll see. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad we have the all the death lord in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's gonna Ooh. be awesome. We'll see how it goes. Seriously, I don't know if we oh, can win this one, but we'll see. What a waste of mana. Yeah, I can do this. He's gonna shadow step it. Yeah, probably. And play it again. Or gang up. No, not not no. play it. Not play it again, but um, shadow we'll step for sure. Okay. Well, if he burns the shadow step on this and not the or oracle, yeah. because that's the main play. It's just to or um, shadow step the oracle. Yeah. We're pretty good, I think. Oof. Sylvanas. Let's play Sylvanas, I think. Oh, I guess he could vanish. But here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, but either ways, either ways. If he vanishes Yeah. With or without the Sylvanas, that's the same thing. Well, no, because if he uh cold light oracle and then vanish, we're in trouble. Oh no, we're not, because it wouldn't it would it's by it will die by order of summoning. So the cleric will die first, then the death will Death Lord, then cleric. Oh, that's this. Uh, that's this order. It's not the reverse one. It might be the reverse. I can't remember. I can't. <laughs> okay. Let's go with Sylvanas because even if she dies, she dies on what? Like that's not a big deal. We are not going to steal something. Okay. And then uh, hit face. And uh, hit face with everything, and we pass. Yeah, I think uh, what's interesting is that um, that play he did with the uh, heal bot was way too passive because yeah, yeah. we could just burst that amount down again. It would be better for him to play heal bot than gang up. Well, but you see, good. he's wasting this stuff. I mean, jeez. I think oh, no, he, I think vanish, I think vanish, he vanish, vanish. okay. He didn't find uh okay, we are not even overdrawing, so no, let's try to put as many things on the board as we can. Okay, so for sure cleric. Okay, let's in. count. Let's count. We have one death lord it's four. Uh, Gilblin, it's six, yeah. and that's it. So we should put a, a cabal instead. So one cleric, two death lords, it's four, and the uh, cabal. We only have yeah. okay. Oh, uh, sorry, you have nine. Yeah, you are. You are right. We have nine. Oh, whoops! I put the North Shore. Sorry. That, no, no, that's well. That's fine. It's me. It's my fault. Uh, let's put the death lord. Yeah, well, maybe we should just go Gilblin and Cabal. Gilblin and Cabal, okay. Yeah, and next time we'll be able to drop, uh, I don't know, a Death Lord and Cabal, okay. or Death Lord and Sylvanas. All right, all right. That's that's fine, that's fine. We, the, the Death Lord is not mandatory here. Yeah. Plus, if you can spend the dagger on the, on the Cleric, I'm fine with it. There we go. 
Okay. So, so it begins. There we go. Okay. 14, 18, 17, 18. What? Oh, that gang up. Okay. That's good. It's going to be fun, man. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I say we cabal that if we can, if he doesn't get rid of it. Yeah, why not? That's good. Always, always good to take him. Yeah. Huh. What are you going to do? He's going to take damage. He's going to it's hit. in face? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm... What a waste. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's an obvious cabal death lord. Yeah, I agree. And we don't even chow. No. And hit face. Oh, for sure. Now we all in. All in face. The only thing is, is he have another vanish. I can't remember if these guys want another vanish. And he drew he drew a lot, because he drew the Oracle, so yeah. he can have a vanish, but, well, we don't have the choice, man. That's crazy. No vanish, please. Two, four, six, and five. We have eleven on board right now. Jeez. Well, we have Shadow of Death. We could win. Sap, okay. Oh, it kills oh, it, though. That was smart. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Shadow or death, we should kill. Okay. That's, uh, that's actually uh, really annoying to play against. But... Oh, I've got an idea. Yep. Use use Cold Light Oracle to kill Youthful Brewmaster, drop Sylvanas, and Shadow or death Sylvanas. To get more power on the board? Yeah. Yeah, since we don't have a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's this, or. Mm -hmm. Or, that's. Uh, coil. Cold Light Oracle, uh, no, sorry, uh, Death Lord in the Mukla. Yeah. And Shadow Madness, the Youthful in the Mukla. Oh, neat. And then we put the Sylvanas, and we still get a 5 5 on board, but yeah. with the Sylvanas ability. That's a good point. All right. I'm so doing I think it. it's better. Yeah. So this, yeah. Just to keep the Cold Light Oracle, so. Oh, yeah, maybe we could have killed the Cold Light, but that's. Yeah. We'll we see. don't need to kill the Cold Light. Um, I want. That's because I wanted to keep two uh, uh, two more attack by saving the call light, but if yeah. he vanishes, we have a call light in hand and we won't play it because yeah. because of an obvious reason. So let's go with that, yeah. Sylvanas. Sylvanas, okay. Yep. And we go all face and we can set up for potential lethal with yeah. banana banana <laughs> and uh, banana lethal. With a banana lethal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So yesterday I faced two rogues like that. Yeah. And I I lost two one because I was too surprised. Yeah. And uh, the second one I knew what to do. I was a bit more prepared and I won the second one, but nice. it was on. It was if like very, it was on the edge. Yeah. If he can't heal here or deal with our board, he is in yeah. trouble. Yeah. He can mill us all he wants right now. We don't care. He, that's true. The problem is would be an anti kill bot. Like seriously, it would be a problem. Yeah, that's true. But or would it? Or uh, even a vanish. Or a vanish. Seven, sorry, eight, a nine, vanish would be terrible. 11, Twelve. He didn't pull it. Otherwise, he would have played it by now. Yeah, but he, he drew that so much during the last turns that maybe he have it. Okay, he doesn't have it. He doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I think we steal his uh, cold light. That's good. Always good to take. Yeah, we still win if he doesn't heal. He can't Two, heal. Four, we win. Six, eight, nine, nine. Yeah, we win. Wow. Because we can Velen and Banana. We have to go for the Banana victory. <laughs> you know what? It's going to pull out uh, an Oracle. There are so many Oracles in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> <An Oracle. laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, okay. What's the, ta the status of the game? He has 13 cards. We have 11. Mm hmm. Four in hand, and we have a full hand. Yeah. What should we do? Um, we should drop as many things as we can. So, in my uh, opinion, it was Piloted Shredder, Dark Cultist, and Velen Chosen Someone. That's the maximum we could drop. And we could drop Zombie yeah. Chow, but that might not be good. No, that's true. Um, oh, we could drop Banana as well. Okay, so what's the best combination? Uh, a Shredder... Okay, a Dark Cultist, a Banana, a Shredder. I wanted that Banana victory so bad. 
No, but I think you're right. The best, as you said, uh, we could da Dark Artist, Shredder, and Venance. Which one? Venance the... I think Velen's the Shredder, maybe? They don't have big game, do they? Oh, we wouldn't matter. Okay, here's here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do the... Let's Velen's the, the Dark Cultist. And Banana the Shredder. Next time, then. But yeah, Velen's the, the Cultist, if you want. Okay. The reason for why is because I want to keep... Oh, I wanted to keep Shredder out of the range of uh, poison, but I we didn't do that. If he puts his face, I'm not too sad. Uh, That's true. Does he have another NT kill buff? That's the question. Oh, he's gonna vanish. Try vanish? Nope. Sprint. Ah, oh, thank. Oh, you. what? Thank you. He's he's but he could still draw into vanish, which, oh, would, which would he's would gonna meet us like crazy now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he drew like two or three oracles. Okay. That's okay. We're okay. We don't need. Oh, that's good. We have lethal. We have lethal. We have lethal. Oh shit! We don't have lethal. <laughs> we can. Oh, we don't have shadow madness or cabal. No, no. Oh, we could steal that though. Mind control. I think that would be the play because it's putting you on a on a clock after that. Yeah. Uh, we need to steal that. Yeah. We need to steal that. Definitely. Should yeah. That there's no other play. Uh, I think we should go face all the way. Okay. That he, we put him at two, maybe as an antique. Uh, even if he has an antique, we have what? All Nova, Banana, yeah. uh, and we have enough board. The Vanish would be bad, but well, that's good. Go on, because he's meeting he's meeting himself more than us actually. Yeah. He's at three. We are six. Yeah. He's gonna fatigue before us, man. He's at two and he's already out of cards. <laughs> Okay, we we I'm pretty sure we won. I don't see even a vanish would it wouldn't be bad. Maybe he's gonna anti kill bot though, but that's fine too because we have the power to to get rid of the eight extra elf. Yeah. I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Or yeah, even with that, that's fine. Yeah, we can get through that. Yeah. In fact, we just need to play Holy Nova. I think it's done. Yeah. Because he's gonna get. Okay. You know what? The play, the play would almost to be. <laughs> what is he doing? He's milling himself. Yeah, he's out of cards. He's done. He's That's done. fine. We can pass turn and we win. Yeah. That's good. GG. GG. I do want a holy nova, though, don't you? Just for the sake of it. Ah, he gave up. <laughs> uh, we played smartly, I think. That was it's extremely tricky to uh, against this deck. Yeah. Because because. As we said during the analysis, uh, analysis, uh, we are we are not bursting at all. We had to play the cabal as a, as a bursting card, yeah. as a strong minion, and not with the battle cry. Just because we needed to put more power on the board to to thread on him more and more, and yeah. uh, that's for a deck like us, it's really cool. <laughs> no pressure. That's, no pressure. <laughs> no, okay, it's really bad bad hand to start. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You, you know what to do, right? <laughs> yeah. Get rid of all. Oh, yeah. Come on, zombie chow. Uh, at least one of. Yes! One is to drop. Okay, death roll. That's, that makes and, up for the. And anti kill bot. Oof, and sludge oh, melter. Oh. We can coin the death roll on turn two. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that's amazing, man. We have all the cards for him, oh. but it's it's a bit slow still. Yeah. But we have all the cards for that, so yeah. we should do it. And he didn't play turn one, which is really good for us. Yeah, maybe it's not a face hunter though. Maybe it's, maybe it's a mid range or something. Yeah, we know how to deal with mid range, that's one of our favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's. Uh, we don't have the choice, it's a. Uh, Death Lord. Coin Death Lord, because we don't want the, the cleric to die for free. And hit face. Yeah, sh for sure. So the best answer to that, even an owl, is not too bad. Yeah. I, I agreed. I think it's fine. The problem is that we don't have a, turn, a clear turn 3. The turn 3 would be some kind of healing something. Yeah, I mean, I hope that he just kills Rams and Knife Juggler into Death Lord here, and then we can heal up the Death Lord. If he doesn't, we will. Yeah, yeah. he won't. 
This is good for us. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, well, we, that, 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 that doesn't change the plan whatsoever because we don't want the Death Lord to die okay. for free. We want to to draw more cards. So yeah. I think it's an easy attack the juggler before it does any damage. Yeah. And we heal that up. It doesn't even die to the to the weapon itself. Yeah. Cool. And we attack face. Power word shield would have been amazing there. Oh wow, that would have been uh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Giving us a mana. Yeah. He gets a creature, but it won't be something crazy. Ah! Well, that's fine. We that's okay. On turn 5, we could we could Holy Nova, so... Yeah, let's Holy Nova. We have to. We can attack again. That's fine. So Holy Nova turn. Yeah. And you know what? It's going to be better than that. Yeah. Okay, no. He kills this thing. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's Holy Nova for sure. Yeah. We don't have the choice because here... Uh, a single Sludge Belcher is just too, too yeah, bad. Too weak. It's too weak. He could Owl. He could... You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Oh, come on, piggy, seriously. <laughs> okay, so so now it's a sludge belt for sure. Yeah. What is good is that we have the heal bot. Yeah. So I hope, and we're gonna oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Death Lord, yeah. Dark Cultist. That's good too. Yeah, I think it's way better than sludge. So, yeah. That's yeah. great, and we don't heal because. We're putting more on the ball, yeah. And we want to make, we want to make him think that he's close to to killing us at a point. Spending extra resource to do that, and yeah. we anti kill bots when yeah. when he doesn't he expect it. Mark? What is he doing? Yeah, like, maybe he's gonna have no, that. He's just no? gonna ram everything into it. That's awesome. For well, us. Totally fine, dude. I hope it pulls out now. Never <laughs> know. Oh, even that is weird. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, what's the most mana efficient here? Um, uh, sludge Belcher, Heal Self, Kill Dog. <laughs> He's just wasting so many resources getting through our taunts. Yeah, you're right. I think this is the best. We need. To I was I was thinking at a point, uh, Belcher. Shrimp Meister the Leper Gnome and kill it, but there will be a beast. Yeah, and he can board. kill command our sludge. We yeah, that's that. true. Okay, so sludge killed the, the doggy. I mean, he, he could get through. And heal ourselves, you're yeah. right. The zombie child doesn't do that much. Um, he you're could right? get through with a weapon with an eagle horn bow and. Uh, <laughs> that's good, man. The, he, it depends on his hand, but if his hand is not doesn't have the ans the answers like kill command on and everything like that, that's that's awesome, man. You know what we had to? We, I mean, you have to admit, as a face hunter facing three, he did well getting through two taunts. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. when you're like, oh my god, the third taunt, like, yeah, there's no way. There's. No and he con he considered without even saying that, uh, no, without even knowing that we had the heal bot in yeah. him. So that's. Yeah, that was a lost cause for him. All right. We faced three hunters, mm -hmm. and each of these hunters... Oh, sorry, four oh. hunters. Out of, four out of eight games yeah. were hunters, and there were face hunters. Yeah. We lost to one only, Yeah. and the draws were seriously the the cause, yeah. <laughs> because the draws were... The, the hand was very clunky. Yeah. It was really bad, I remember, and we mulliganed everything, but we got another very bad hand after that. Yeah. So... I mean, you yeah. can you can see that you know if you this is an incredible deck to play if you are seeing a lot of face hunters because you know if you get a good draw which in most of the games we did you know yeah. you're un, you the face hunt the face hunter just runs out of options because we're we're with our hero power we're canceling out their hero power we've got taunts we've got heals I mean we've just got so many options to deal with their their stuff. True. It's such an effective deck against Face Hunter. For that alone, I would play it. But what's also yep. interesting is that we started out by beating a control warrior. Yeah. And that just shows the versatility of the deck, you know? Like, we're dealing with really effectively with Face Hunter on one hand and late game control warrior on the other hand. 
Yeah. And Mil so, Mil Rogue as well, considered late game as well. Yeah, definitely. Like we I'm really glad that this this deck is just uh just not designed and good against aggro, but you can deal you can you can deal with the the control decks too. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to have seen how it fared against let's say a mage, tempo mage or, or a mech mage. It would have been interesting to see that. Um and also maybe a more standard druid, although who knows what a standard druid is anymore. Um, yeah. But, you know, I got to say, I'm really impressed with this deck. I mean, like I said, the versatility is definitely there. And, yep. um, yeah. No, I, actually, I actually forgot to, to write down the loss versus the Paladin. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So we are not at 5-3, but at 5-4. Okay, so that's you, right. Just so you know, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we lost against the Paladin. Um, and what's... Point, what's, yeah. what's, what's the other thing to keep in mind is the weakness of this deck, from what I can see, is there are more, you know, you end up, you, we ended up in a lot of situations, more than I would expect, where we just had hands where we couldn't do anything. And that yeah. is definitely one weakness of this deck. And if you get your draw shut down, uh, then, yeah, you are in trouble. You need to have, protect your draw. And you need to make sure you have uh, a good uh, a good hand. Otherwise, yeah, you get into trouble really fast here. There exactly. were turns against the Paladin, I think it was, where we just could, didn't play anything for like yeah, two, two or three turns. That's the thing when you get uh, when you draw and you get the right the correct mix of minions and spells, it's fine. But during this matchup, I think we drew we drew all the spells. We had yeah. two light bombs that were two dead cards for at least three four turns. Uh, well, we didn't get the cards. We, we we got the cards in the in the wrong order, like a very very bad order because yeah. we 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 got the light bombs. Mm -hmm. We didn't get the holy novas, and the holy nova would have been insane at the point. And we were waiting for it, and all the the good cards we wanted ended up being in the last seven cards of yeah. the deck, which is kind um, of unlucky. I mean, that's that was, unusual. I don't think it was the weakness of the deck. I think yeah. it was like, well, if you draw like that mm -hmm. with any decks, <laughs> you're dead. Yeah, absolutely. It's like in this matchup, maybe the the two Holy Novas were like two Blade Flurries of a Rogue being at the bottom five cards of yeah. your deck. It's it's unlucky, and that's it. Yeah. So, but you know, if you're seeing another thing to mention is if you're seeing a lot of uh, Black Knight uh, in the meta, like we we saw. Two mm. that really, uh, you know, put a, we got in trouble uh, yeah. when those plays were made. If you're seeing that, then maybe we need to put some thought into maybe either we we need to tech the priest, the light bomb priest, a little differently, or maybe it's just a, a deck we don't we don't play. If you see a lot of black knight out there, I th and I think the thing would be you don't play this deck. I yeah. think it would be you play something else. It would be more like a control priest without yeah. this all these crazy cards because this version relies on the on the death lord. Yeah, absolutely. And if you change the death lord then you might go back to injured blade master, pyromancer, like yeah. the standard control priest and yeah. not this version. Yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, one one more thing I'll mention too is that um, you know you have to I mean, the first game against the Control Warrior was was it was an insightful game for me because you don't have big heavy hitters in this game to come in and close. Mm. Uh, you know, you don't have a Doctor Boom or a Ragnaros to come in and just end the game. Um, so you really have to use your resources well, and, and I think that was clear in how we were able to win against the Control Warrior, saving our yeah. Shadow Word Death against the Alex, the eventual Alex Straza, saved the match. Making sure we had enough minions on the table to close out the to match was was so important you, because you can't rely on a doc, Doctor Boom coming in and clobbering the opponent. You have to set yourself up to be able to to win something. Exactly, and uh, we played this deck in the last turn. You're playing this deck as a, as a control warrior, mm -hmm. where you're this pretty much the same way in terms of using your removal the right way. Yeah. It's like uh, for a control warrior, what's crucial is to use uh, execute and shield slam and the brawl the, at the correct time to get the value. Yeah. And that's exactly the same here with the shadow of death. Yeah. Um, and keeping keeping all these both clears like the light bomb, you need to time it correctly. And yeah. when you do, 
you outvalue your opponent. And we, yeah. we want this control warrior matchup because we outvalued him. That's yeah. it. That was as simple as that. So that's why the, the, the game uh, was dragged till the dragged back into fatigue. I think we it was yeah. fatigue. Yeah. Or something. So yeah, that's that was pretty much it. And it was like very slow because he, he couldn't. The only he had a burst which was Gromash, but we shut it down pretty pretty fast. So yeah. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I really enjoyed that. That's a really cool deck. Lots of versatility, and I always love shutting down face hunters. So. That was awesome. Yeah, that was great. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday with uh, a Warlock uh, deck analysis, so tune in for that. Uh, but thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. See you guys.